Hi everybody, I'm Tim and I am an addict. Um, welcome to Recovering an Addiction. Um, today we're going to talk about um, how does your addiction affect your family and friends? Um, we all know the shame and guilt, the things we've done to, to get what we need. Um, and it's a, it's a long, long process and I'm not going to promise you that everybody's going to be receptive. But um, it, it, with time and a lot of hard work, step work, finding out about yourself, learning who you really are, um, it is possible to gain your family and friends' trust back again. Um, like a lot, of, a lot of you know, like me, I'm sure you've made promise after promise after promise and lied and lied and lied. But once I got into the program and I started working a program and stuck with working a program, it's, it's a daily thing. Recovery has to be a part of your life in every way. You have to put as much effort into your recovery as you did into using. And if you can do, actually, if you can put half the effort you put into recovery as you did into using, you should be fine. Um, there are a, a lot of wonderful, wonderful um, resources these days. The internet's a wonderful tool. I can't imagine what it was like to get clean back when there was only landlines or, or God, back when, when Bob and Bill first started the program, I, I can't imagine like writing letters to your sponsor to get a response. I mean, it's, it's insane to think about, but, um, back to the topic at hand. So yeah, um, like, like most addicts, I burnt every bridge I ever had pretty much. Um, and I, I thought for sure no one would ever, ever trust me again. No one would ever believe a, a word I said. I was a, I was a liar. I mean, I'm, I mean, I was a liar, a, a thief, a cheater, I, whatever. I mean, I was, I was all of them things and more. I was not a very good person when I was in active addiction. Um, so I want newcomers especially to know that it seems like an impossible, impossible situation that your family will ever trust you again. And I know the shame and guilt are overwhelming, but do not let the shame, do not let the shame bog you down because the shame is going to keep you in active addiction. Guilt is a good motivator. Shame will fucking tear you up. It's almost as bad as resentments. Um, you can't change what you've done in the past. The only thing you can do is do different things. Um, part of that is working the steps, um, your fourth step, writing down all of the people you've harmed, all the people that have harmed you, and coming to terms with uh, the things you've done and things people have done to you. You cannot hold on to that shit. You have to let it go. You have to let it go or else it'll eat you alive. Um, and did my family and friends trust me right away? Hell no. Do they fully trust me and believe me now? Probably not, but things are a lot better. Things do get better. It's not an impossibility. I promise you that. Um, this is not an I program. This is a we program. I could never do this alone. Um, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people pray, you know, whatever your higher power may be that's fine you know mine mine personally is the group um a lot of people are turned off at first because of the whole higher power of god thing but you got to understand that it's your own conceptual um thoughts on the on the matter whatever helps you stay clean is all that matters as long as it's something bigger than you and there are a lot of things that are bigger than me i'm i'm not exactly uh <clears throat> Let's just say that when I when I drove the car, that motherfucker tended to crash into the wall a lot. Let's just put it that way. So, but like I said, I just want to, I want you to know that it is a, a long, long process. But with, with, if you stay in recovery and become the person you were, you should have been all along, and you try to be honest. That's the biggest thing in this program. There's three things, actually. 
honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. Them are the top three things, but honesty is paramount. And open-minded, absolutely you have to be open-minded. When I first came in the program, all I did is look for differences instead of similarities. I thought, oh, these fucking people are full of shit. They're not like me. You never used like me. You don't know my story. Well, come to find out, they did know my story. Um, and they, they were like me. They were me. Um, it's crazy. Once you hear so many addict stories of, uh, you know, how they thought they were so different. But in reality, uh, we're... We're all so much, so much alike. I mean, we we have differences, obviously, but for the most part, we're very, very alike. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's about all I have for today. Um, I'm going to wrap this up, and I want you all to know that you can do this. I have faith in you. And as corny as it sounds, I love each and every one of you. Adios, guys.